What other animal species would that affect besides uh, the sheep and the uh, it's a pretty broad spectrum that requires a lot more uh, investigation. I'll tell you that we had a microbiologist at the University of Wyoming uh, projecting that nematodes would be affected in the soil. Nematodes are a major contributor to uh, diversity within the soil on a chemical level because they, are, they harbor some of the microorganisms that end up digesting soil components and breaking minerals down into uh, organic forms that can be absorbed by plants. So we don't know. This uh, it, it's going to affect. We we said already that marmots and pikas are affected in addition to bighorn sheep. Probably doesn't affect elk because they migrate freely if they sense the need for minerals. They don't feel tied to the alpine, although they live here part of the year. They can freely go down to. Uh, uh, montane zones where they're in the trees. Bighorn sheep do not feel comfortable in the trees. They're stuck here above tree line. That's why they're a species we're really focusing our attention on. But uh, because of these smaller mammals being affected, you don't see as many raptors up high anymore. We don't see the eagle populations, the uh, red-tailed hawks, the uh, grouse like we used to eat. Uh, actually, we don't. There are some the ptarmigan at this elevation and blue grouse, which we uh, rarely see now. So it might be affecting everything at this uh, 11,000 foot plus elevation. Now the raptors may have just moved to another location down lower, but we certainly don't see them up at high elevations like we used to. Raptor population. What's the predator population doing, and kind of in, in response to the decrease in bighorn? Uh, predators are uh, uh, pretty versatile, and they'll shift to other things. I do know that uh, coyotes probably prefer small mammals to large mammals like bighorn sheep. So one thing I didn't mention is that uh, there used to be a lot of ground squirrels at 11 and 12,000 feet, and we hardly ever see them anymore. Golden mantle ground squirrels, chipmunks, and uh, 13 line ground squirrels are, that one's almost completely gone now at higher elevations. Uh, so the coyotes, I have to say personally, I don't see as many coyotes at high elevations as I used to. And I, I don't think they're dying. I think they're just moving to lower elevations where this phenomenon we're talking about with selenium deficiency uh, wouldn't exist because in sedimentary soils, buffering is greater, the chemistry is different, and the microbial life is entirely different. Uh, so there's probably an abundance of rodents at lower elevations for coyotes, bobcats, and foxes. It's a shift, definitely, although uh, we're probably not killing off predators, we're probably shifting them to lower elevations and maybe lowering overall regional populations because of habitat limitations. <laughs>